Good evening, everybody. I'm Ben Mankiewicz. Thanks for joining us on TCM, where tonight it's all about our star of the month, Kim Novak, an actress who went far beyond her blonde bombshell attributes to display an elegance and vulnerability on screen that few of her contemporaries could match. Those characteristics are on full display in our next film. It's from 1956, also starring Tyrone Power. It's the Eddie Duchin story. The movie is based on the short life of Eddie Duchin, a popular New York big band leader and pianist from the 1930s and 40s. Power stars as the title character, while Novak plays his first wife, a wealthy New York socialite who helps put him on the path to success. Producer Jerry Wald picked Novak for the part, sending her a touching vote of confidence with the script. He wrote in the note, this is the first in a line of hits and misses. Don't be disturbed about the misses, and don't get worked up about the hits. Sweet and thoughtful advice for Novak, who at this point in her short career was finally starting to assert herself as an actress. But still, she struggled with an insecurity that sometimes came off as prima donna behavior. And while her director, George Sidney, and some of her co-stars were compassionate, her leading man had no patience for it. Power famously told columnist Luella Parsons that Novak made his life hell, essentially saying that her exhibitions were more bad manners than temperament. Despite the challenging shoot, Novak turned in one of her most critically acclaimed performances and solidified her star status. The same year the film was released, Box Office Magazine named Novak one of the ten most popular movie stars from 1956, also starring Victoria Shaw and James Whitmore, The Eddie Duchin Story. 